Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Duel Links video and today where we're going to be climbing the ladder kind of casually, not really trying too hard, but you know, if we can climb the ladder, maybe gain a few ranks, get some gems, all that stuff, cool stuff. But we're mainly, I got a new gaming mouse down in the link description below. It's a very cool gaming mouse. It has uh, all these bright lights on it. It's really cool. If you're a gamer on the PC and you like PC games, maybe you have Duel Links on the PC and you want to play with a nice, cool mouse, you can definitely get that down in the link description below. It's only like $19, I think it's half off. So, really cool deal down there. I'll put it in the link description below, so don't forget it. Let's get into the duels. Let's see, what are we gonna be facing first, huh? Six Samurais versus what? Okay, we got Esperoba. Is it some sort of weird Jinzo deck? Five Jinzos, one deck. Okay, no Jinzos. Interesting. Well, I can afford to actually Treacherous here. Looks like that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't care. <coughs> I don't care if uh, Kazaru gets destroyed. I actually prefer him being in the grave. <clears throat> now, there's a reason I don't run Cunning of the Six Samurai in this deck. Because it's pretty much a dead hand. It's a dead card in almost every hand. The only time it's useful is when you're actually playing Doji. And Doji sucks because as soon as you're up against Vamp, you instantly lose. So, Doji's just a terrible card because milling... With Doji, is just not a good idea. You don't ever want to mill a 6 Samurai card. You always want to add them to your hand. That's why Kazaru is like 99.99% better. Okay, he played literally his whole hand. I'm going to wait. Let him hammer shark. He's going to what? Um, what is he doing? Okay. Well, if that's how we're going to play it, then that's fine. Okay. What does he have down there? Okay, so I know he has probably like an Econ back there. Let's tribute off you. Destroy you. That's a full back row. Um, I'd rather switch Kizaru to defense. Because, again, I don't really care. Econ? Okay, not a big threat. Oh, okay. That's fine? Yeah, it's totally fine. It actually saves me the trip of sending, sending anyone uh, into the fence mode. <clears throat> I don't really care about Econ Take. Oh, okay, he's going to banish my Treacherous now. But what can he actually do? Besides just banishing my Treacherous. Does he actually have something down there that can actually do something? Yeah, he doesn't have anything. What the hell is this? What kind of cheese deck? Okay, so he has Mirror Wall or something back there. I don't know why he's playing some sort of Umi deck. I don't know, that just makes no sense to me. Okay, so... Let's see, what is he playing? He's probably playing maybe a Super Rush or two. And maybe, like, a mirror wall? Do I go all in? I don't know. I'll try with Kizaru first. See what goes on. Okay, worst case scenario, and we lose. 
Actually, not necessarily. We don't ne necessarily lose right here unless he picks up another monster. I don't care if I get wall of deed here, it doesn't matter. Okay, he knows he can't wall of deed Zandri because he's gonna they're both gonna get destroyed anyway, so Okay. Anti magic? She ends Dojo. Worst pickup ever. So we didn't activate it before, but I'm just going to do this anyway. Okay, that's fair. I don't know what the hell that was. But okay. Interesting. I guess. I love how people say UA is meta when it's clearly not. Okay, what's this? I need to look at this dude's deck. I need to understand what I just faced. What the hell was that? How did this boy brick? What did I just face? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, mind scan. Worst case scenario. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I seriously have to face Amazonas? I'm not. I'm not. Not no. Not happening. I'm not facing Amazonas. That's just not happening. I don't feel like dealing with that BS. That is nowhere, nor ever, is that going to happen. Bandit Keith, okay, we're facing vamps. Could just bait the brick. <clears throat> Rather set unknown sink. Okay. 
Okay. Why am I lagging? I shouldn't be lagging. That's weird. I should not be lagging. Okay. What are you playing? Oh. Okay. That's definitely not a threat. Shooting Doji? What the hell is he playing? Well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. This should be a relatively easy game. Anytime you uh, want to, you know, do something, that'd be great. <coughs> You know, like, anything at all. Activate whatever your back row is. I have no idea what this guy's playing. Shooting Doji? Cannot think of any deck he belongs in. Maybe Vamps? I guess, but that's just the dumbest idea I've ever heard of. Okay, uh, here's the question. Do I summon Kizaru in attack or defense? I think I'll summon him in attack. What are the chances that he actually has Wall of D? He let this happen. Uh, let's bring out Hand. I think Hand is the best chance for me to, like, do something good. Now, the question is, do I go for Grandmaster? Mm, debatable, but I think I should. Okay. Let's attack with Wayne. Bruce Wayne right here. Good oh, Bruce, get him. Get him, Wayne. Okay, not a problem. He's only gonna... Okay. Well... What is he doing? I don't know why he didn't Econ take. I guess he wanted to try and kill off Wayne? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense at all. Now I can just treacherous off one of my six sands and be totally fine because I have Kizaru in grave. No other card. I don't know if that works like that though. No need to destroy him like that. Okay, so it is Vamps, right? What kind of mean Vamps plays shooting Doji? Retainer, interesting, okay. I can get behind it. Whatever you're doing, and I don't think it matters too much. He's probably gonna try and grace me. He's gonna grace me with his presence, or not. Not gonna grace me. Interesting play. Then he has vamp in hand. He has 100% vamp in hand. That's exactly what it is. Because he's going to go for Domain here. He probably has Takeover set. He's going to try and Vamp Vamp suck on me. And yeah. Yeah, he's Domaining and Vamp Vamp. Okay. Not a problem. I can handle that. I'm going to wait for him to Vamp Vamp. Uh... 
All right, he's gonna. Oh wait, he can't even pay for it. He can't even pay for it. Oh my god, he can't even pay. Um, do I even care if he tries to? Oh, okay, that's what he's doing. Monster cards? Don't mind if I do. I'll send another Kazaru to the grave. Okay, what's he going to destroy? What's he destroying? Back row? Best case scenario. Goodbye, Grace. Goodbye, not... Samurai Skull, that's the worst option to pick here. Okay. Easy. He can't even search anyway, so I'm not really worried about what he sends to the grave. If he tries to... Uh, what's it called? Familiar here? He can't. Oh, wait, no, he technically can, but that's not going to get him any value. So, he loses here. I actually don't care if he destroys Wayne at all. Let's see. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. He can go over my uh, Grandmaster if he wants to. I think that's what he's going to do. Even though it really does not matter who he attacks here. <clears throat> Actually, if he goes over Grandmaster, I can't actually get over him, I don't think. Wait, no, Wayne goes to 24, so never mind. Wayne goes to 24, and Zanji also does that too. Zanji also gets over him, so we're good. And right after this duel, this is a good duel to end off on. Beating vamps with six sams. Not really too hard of a task. What? Okay, lag. I guess he really wanted to get that, uh, yep, he's done. He really wanted that kill, I suppose. I don't know why he did not econ take. That was the dumbest play I've ever seen. If he would have econ take for his shoot to doji, he actually would have been able to kill me. I wouldn't have been able to deal with his board. Yeah, I had treacherous, but... He still could have had some plays left over if he just did just uh, econ tank. Alright, well, that's a good look to end off on. I forgot to save that replay, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Don't forget to check the link down in the description below. Nice, cool gaming mouse for you Duel Link players. I got you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.